before we go deeper into speech organization and how or what, do you know what is speech organization? And what is the purpose of speech organization? That's the first we need to know. Speech organization refers to the way that a person organizes what he or she wants to say. It involves arranging the speech information in a logical way. Before organizing a speech, it is important to distinguish between the speech, the speech main idea and the main points. And this is the purpose of the or speech organization. The first, to successfully communicate the message, the message must be presented in a logical order. And the second, the audience must be able to see a clear connection between ideas. And the third one, a successful speech will always have a comprehensive structure, an opening, a body, and a conclusion. So, how to write an organized speech? As I mentioned earlier, that a successful speech will always have a comprehensive structure. And the structures are, first is an opening. A good opening piques the audience interest in your topic and leads into the subject of the speech. The second is a body. In a body contains factual support for the message. This, let's make the structure as simple as possible. And let's ha say have a maximum three points is the most effective. If you give a lot of information, it will make the audience get lost in the information itself. In the last one is conclusion. In this section, you re-emphasize the message. Let's go detail one by one. Here's in the opening. What will we do in the opening section? First, don't forget to have greetings. You may greet good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and say thank you for the person who introduced you. Like, uh, thank you, Dini. Thank you, Bruna. And you can also greet the other participants. And the second one, capture audience interest. You may begin with the information about your topic that will capture the attention of the audience, such as an interesting fact about your topic that you found on your research. This means you can ask a questions when you opening your speech. If your topic is about hobby, you can ask the audience saying, what is your hobby? You can write down in the chat box, what is your hobby? And then you read the comment that they write in the chat box. And if someone has the same, same hobby with you, you can say, ah, I have a friend here. So this is my hobby. Okay. That's the good thing to engage with the audience by asking a questions. And the third is introduce your topic. When you introduce your topic, you give a small, short definition or small story about your hobby. If your topic is about hobby, so you tell about your hobby. And you may also mention some uh, personal story about your hobby. And then we go to the transition to move into the body section. In the transition, we put a statement or a sentence that designed to lead smoothly 
into the first main point. The main point is the, bo the body section. Do you remember? The maximum is three points. So each point you want to share must have an evidence. You say something about, uh, I love this hobby because my hobby can be first, make me happy. Second, uh, refresh my mind. And the third, makes a lot of money from it. And then the second main point of your hobby, you can do it step, uh, one by one, but each main point has has uh, evidence to support your points. Okay, so let's move to the last one, is the conclusion. In the conclusion, <clears throat> we need to make a brief summary of your topic. And we also can review the main points. What we have just shared in the body, we may re re remind again to make the conclusion stronger. And last one is close with impact. Close with impact, it means that we close the, the speech by giving a strong statement. You can use the quotes that related with your topics, or you can giving a suggestion. If your topic is about hobby, you may find some quotes about hobby, or you can make a suggestions like, why don't you try? This hobby? Why don't you try to take a photography class? Why don't you try to be a carpenter or something that's related with the hobby? <clears throat> so the close, Im close impact of the conclusion, that's what will the audience remember of your speech. And before I close this, Here's things to remember. The first is a successful speech will always have a comprehensive structure, an opening, body, and conclusion. And number two, focus on delivering the conclusion with strength and confidence. And you can illustrate all the points with example, stories, and anecdotes. When we deliver a speech with our personal story, it will easier for audience to get related and get, oh yes, I have the same problem. Yes, I have been there. I have the same situation. So by using our personal story, it will it will more connected with the audience. You don't need to find a hard topics. You can find the topics what is around you, and you can make a draft of the speech by put it in an opening, body, and conclusion. And you still have to remember that you have a time limit for your speech. So when you making a draft for your speech, don't put too much opening, don't too much body, and don't too much conclusion. When you put an opening too much and a body too much, and finally you run out of time, you wrap your speech very fast and finally the audience cannot get what your message are. So I think that's it from me. Back to you, Toastmaster of the meeting.